also odd, one would say, uh, is that your alma mater, Duke, is not in this tournament. How would you describe their season? I mean, if somebody just came from another planet knowing what Duke is all about and what what it has been all about, certainly on the court and, and in the classroom, et cetera, so on and so forth, how, how would you describe Duke's 2020-2021 season? Jay Billis. Well, I wouldn't have to explain to extraterrestrials, Duke or Coach K. They, they uh, I think the entire known universe uh, nice. uh, knows all about Coach K. Nice. Um, <laughs> but I, I do think that this is a year. This has been a year where Duke got to the Duke fans got to feel what it's like to be everybody else. And and you know most teams out there were were like Duke. They're 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 good. And they're good on certain days, and they can beat anybody on a, on a given day, but they just don't have that many given days. And, and they're going to have three-game losing streaks. And Duke, Duke experienced what it's like for, for the rest of the world to be on the bubble. And the fans don't remember that because uh, it hadn't happened in, in 35 years. And um, so it, there are different – like Duke and Kentucky had the number one and number two recruiting classes this year. But recruiting classes are different. And, uh, and there was no Zion, there was no Anthony Davis, there were no t- players like that that were transformational superstars. Those stars went to Oklahoma State, Cade Cunningham, went to USC, Evan Mobley, went to Gonzaga, Jalen Suggs. So there were, there were one and two because they had a number of good players rather than having superstar talent. And the, the guys they have are going to be really good, and, and a number of them are going to play in the NBA. They're just not ready for the to, to be load carriers in the spotlight right this second, and that's been unusual for Duke and Kentucky. Um, but the you know the tournament will go on without them. They'll be everybody will be fine. But I think it's it's good for the fans to recognize there is a difference between uh, some of these super talents that they've had and uh, and guys that are just really really you know really good players. So why do you think so many others were talking about Duke's business with Jalen Johnson, Jay? What do you think? Well, I, I, I think that whole Jalen Johnson thing, um, I, I think, became somewhat of a controversy because uh, you had people that were saying they're better off without him as if he was the problem. And, and he wasn't. Like, when it's funny, Rich, when he was injured and people were going, what's wrong with Duke? The first thing everybody said was they need Jalen Johnson back. Yes. And when he, came, when he came back, the first game back, he came off the bench. He had 24 points, 15 rebounds, seven assists, four blocks, and zero turnovers, and they lost by a bucket. And, and everybody's like, man, they got to get the ball to Jalen Johnson more. Jalen Johnson, Jalen Johnson's this. But when he decided to leave and, and, and quit, whatever you want to call it, opt out, First of all, when, when people say my way is the highway, don't be surprised when somebody takes the highway. And that's what college basketball says to these guys. It's my way of the highway. And so he decided to quit. I don't agree with the decision. I think he would have been better off sticking it out. But, but he, he kind of got attacked, honestly. And I think it was fine to say, hey, was it the right decision for him to opt out? You know, wh- wh- is that the best for his future? Is that the best for his NBA status? Is that the best for him as a player and a teammate and a person? That's all fair game, and we should discuss that stuff. But when somebody says uh, he was hurting them, uh, it, come on, man, that's not true. That's just the system saying, hey, if you do this, uh, the rest of you, if you do this, if you opt out of a bowl game, if you decide you're going to opt out here, we're coming after you, and we're coming after your character. And I just think that's wrong. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.